I filmed many videos combing the wild for an all manner of intriguing little beasties in a variety of locations, from the rugged mountains of the scenic rim to the tropical rainforests that surround the village of Karanda. But a surprising amount of critters can be found much closer to home, in the parks and gardens scattered throughout Brisbane's suburbs. Let's take a look at some of them. This bizarre little insect is Aproida balii, a member of the family Chrysomelidae, which is among the most speciose of all beetle families, and an all manner of different species can be found around Brisbane, dwelling amongst the foliage upon which they and their larvae feed. And this, a female Ellipsidion australi, a type of native cockroach, and, if I do say so myself, a rather more pleasant sight than its introduced relatives. Here is a member of the Acylidae, fierce aerial predators that use their powerful spiked legs to seize smaller insects, which they will often capture on the wing. The diversity of insects in suburbia is accompanied by an equally impressive array of spiders. These huge, seemingly deserted webs are a common sight around Brisbane, and are a telltale sign that, nearby, most often in the foliage slightly above it, the occupant is sheltering. Meet Hortifora. These are large, stocky spiders that wait out the day hidden from sight. Sometimes they'll construct a small retreat, perhaps a rolled up leaf held together by silk. Other times they sit in the open, relying on their cryptic appearance to keep them safe from the sharp eyes of daytime predators such as birds. By folding their eight legs tightly against their body, they effectively mask their shape, appearing more like an amorphous blob than a spider. Come the night, these arachnids venture to the hub of their webs to wait for prey, although sometimes they can be seen on their webs during the day. Every bit as common as Hortifora, and rather more conspicuous, are Argiope. This is a female Argiope kizalingi, one of the most common members of its genus in southeast Queensland. Males are relatively diminutive. They're smaller in size and much more subdued in colour. Larger and somewhat less common in the area than Argiope kizalingi, is this, the aptly named Argiope Magnifica. One of the stranger orb weavers around Brisbane is Arachnura higginsi, the scorpion-tailed spider, though only females possess the namesake elongated tail. All of the spiders we've seen so far are members of the Araniidae family, commonly known as the Orb Weavers. That said, the Araniidae aren't the only spiders that spin orb webs. Take, for example, these Zosis geniculata, which belong not to the Araniidae, but to the Uloboridae, a unique family of spiders that completely lack venom, instead subduing their prey by wrapping it tightly in silk before coating it in digestive fluid. Honestly, if I were an insect, I think I'd rather be eaten by a venomous spider. Zosis geniculata can be prolific around man-made structures. I tend to find them most often in tunnels and other overhangs. They are sometimes nicknamed ninja-style spiders because of their distinctive star-shaped egg sacs. The family Salticidae, known as the jumping spiders, are also common throughout suburbia. 
This tiny technicolored critter is a female Cosmophasus vicarioides. And every bit as magnificent, a male. Cosmophasus are small, even among jumping spiders, but between their iridescent patterning and the constant waving of their opisthosoma, they are quite conspicuous in spite of their minuscule size. Metal railings, for whatever reason, seem to be a hotspot for jumping spiders. Not far from the Cosmophasus, another common species called Menomerus bivitatus. Native to Africa, but introduced to many other regions across the globe. And much larger in size, a female Opisthonchus species, possibly Opisthonchus quadratarius. The genus Opisthonchus is abundant along Australia's eastern coast, and here in Brisbane several different species can be found. They vary rather significantly in size, with Opisthonchus quadratarius sitting toward the upper end of the range. This species also happens to be the only spider I've ever been bitten by unintentionally. One unfortunate individual got stuck in my shirt and repeatedly pressed into my skin. At first, I paid no heed to it. It felt hardly different to a tag rubbing against my skin. But not long after, the spider fell out, looking rather worse for wear with a missing leg. Although, thankfully, such injuries are of little consequence to spiders. The bite itself caused only a very minor, localised itch that faded away within minutes. One of the more familiar jumping spiders around Brisbane is also arguably the largest species in the country, Mopsus mormon. Of course, in the miniature world of jumping spiders, the word largest carries about as much weight as the word fastest would if I were talking about funnel webs. Even so, it's a pretty impressive spider, and one of the few jumping spiders that, when being handled, one can actually feel its weight as it hops around. Like all jumping spiders, these are active diurnal hunters that stalk their prey in a manner eerily reminiscent of cats. The species is strongly sexually dimorphic. This is a male. He is rather less bulky than the female, and bears an endearingly fancy hairstyle that gives him an almost monkey-like appearance. Jumping spiders aren't the only spiders lurking in the foliage around suburbia. So too are the Oxyopidae, also known as lynx spiders. These appear to be members of the genus Oxyopes, with Oxyopes macellentus being a strong candidate for species. Like jumping spiders, Oxyopes do not rely on webs to capture their prey, instead slowly stalking it before rapidly pouncing once their quarry is within range. With both lynx and jumping spiders being prolific in the shrubs and grasses of Brisbane's suburbs, it is inevitable that occasionally their two lives intertwine. Here, a Mopsus mormon has captured an Oxyopes, the former's large size and superior vision likely giving it a significant edge. The Oxyopes probably never saw it coming. The Thomisidae are another family of spiders that share this habitat. This splendid animal is Thomisus spectabilis, one of the larger members of the group. Thomisids have a rather less proactive approach to hunting than jumping and lynx spiders. Their strange shape makes them cumbersome movers, so any form of pursuit is off the table. Instead, they're ambush predators that wait motionless for prey to approach before seizing it with their powerful forelimbs. Another common member of the Thomisidae, and much more cryptic in appearance than Thomisus spectabilis, 
is Stephanopus, one of the spider world's most astonishing examples of camouflage. These can often be found on eucalypt bark, though it goes without saying that they take a very practiced eye to spot. And that wraps it up for today. Hope you enjoyed this little showcase of some of the mini beasts that Brisbane has to offer. If you'd like to see more of my outdoor adventures, feel free to check out this playlist here. And if you enjoyed my content, then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me, and I shall see you again rather shortly.